Hi guys, this is Mahesh here and welcome to the Celestial Quest. Today I'm going to talk about Ascendant or Lagna in Vedic Astrology. Ascendant or Lagna is the most important point in the horoscope in Vedic Astrology as it defines person's character, behavior, personality and many other traits. Today we are going to see how the Ascendant or Lagna is decided conceptually for the person born at a particular time and a particular place on earth. In the diagrams in some of my previous videos, I showed you that the sun is in the center and earth is revolving around it, which is the true representation of how the things are. This relative position of earth and other planets with respect to the sun is called the heliocentric system. But from the earth, when we look at the sky, things look different. Since the earth rotates towards the east, from earth we find that the sun is moving from east to west that is rising in the east and setting in the west and the same seem to happen with planets as well. In astronomy and astrology the positions of these celestial bodies are measured as seen from the earth and these are called geocentric positions. To make it easier to understand what ascendant or lagna is we are going to use this geocentric perspective that is how the things appear from earth. So let's get started. Take a look at the diagram on the screen. Here the earth is in the center and the orange circle around it is called ecliptic or upper mandala, which is the sun's apparent path through the sky as seen from earth. In other words, the sun appears to take this path over the course of a year. Otherwise we know that it's the earth that revolves around the sun. The zodiac or bha chakra in Sanskrit is an area of the heavens that extends about 9 degrees on either side of the ecliptic. This zodiac belt is divided into 12 equal parts of 30 degrees each longitudinally called zodiac signs or rashis. This is what I am showing you on the screen now. If you are interested in finding out more about zodiac and the zodiac signs then I have explained it in a separate video. Earth completes one rotation around its axis in 24 hours. And the zodiac is a big circular band around the ecliptic and so while rotating around its axis earth also cycles through the zodiac that is 12 zodiac signs in 24 hours thus earth covers one zodiac sign in two hours each uh, earth also orbits around the sun and completes one full rotation in about 365 days from the earth, sun appears to pass through these 12 signs over the course of these 365 days or a year. The zodiac is 360 degree circle, so sun takes about 30 days or one solar month to cover one sign in the zodiac. Each of these solar months are named after each zodiac sign. Now let's assume you are standing on the earth at some place facing the eastern horizon and looking at the sky. If you are standing there at the time of the sunrise, then as the earth rotates around its axis, you will find sun rising in front of you, that is from the east, then moving over your head along the ecliptic which is the sun's apparent path and setting in the west. Note that this path of the sun will not be exactly over your head during all days of the year and will vary depending on sun's northerly or southerly movement during solstices. But to make it easier to understand the concept, I am showing ecliptic as a straight vertical line starting in the center of the east and going over your head to the west. If it is a night time, then you will be able to see the narrow zodiac belt studded with constellations of stars as I am showing you on the screen. I am saying narrow as this belt is 18 degrees wide, that is 9 degrees on either side of the ecliptic, which is the sun's apparent path. As the earth rotates around its axis, it gives the feeling that one after the other, zodiac signs are rising from the east, going over your head following the same route that sun has taken. In 24 hours, all the 12 zodiac signs of 30 degrees each would have risen from eastern horizon one after the other with a new sign rising every two hours. Assuming Aries or Mesha has risen at 8 p.m. then Taurus or Rishabha will rise at 10 p.m. and Gemini or Mithuna will rise at 12 p.m. and so on as shown in the diagram. I've already explained why every sign rises in two hours but let me reiterate it here again. Since Earth takes 24 hours to rotate around its axis 
and also cycles through the 12 signs of the zodiac, during that time it takes 2 hours to complete one sign and hence from earth it appears as if new sign is rising every 2 hours. Of course, you can't see all the constellations, specifically the one through which the sun is currently passing and obviously none during the daytime, but I hope you get the point. Now coming to the most important bit, the ascendant or lagna is that point of the ecliptic which is rising at any time on the eastern horizon, as shown on the screen. Since new sign rises every two hours, lagna or ascendant changes the sign or rashi every two hours. The lagna is related to the time and place of birth. This is to differentiate between two people born on the same day and same time but at different places or two people born on the same day, same place but at different times of the day. Thus a person born on the same day but at different place is born while earth is facing a different sign or rashi and hence will have a different ascendant. In short, ascendant or lagna of a person is the sign or rashi faced by the surface of the earth on which he is born at the time of his birth. Lagna is expressed in terms of signs and degrees, minutes and seconds of that sign. In the diagram on your screen, you see that the ascendant is at 2 degrees Gemini, which has just risen. Since each sign is 30 degrees, and Earth takes 2 hours or 120 minutes to traverse one sign, the ascendant or lagna changes the degree every 4 minutes. That is, if you divide 120 minutes by 30 degrees, you get 4 minutes per degree. So what you are seeing on your screen is that 4 minutes have passed since Gemini has risen, and so ascendant has crossed 1st degree of the Gemini and is now at the 2nd degree of the Gemini. As the earth rotates, ascendant or lagna will pass through all the remaining 28 degrees of Gemini and on to the next sign Cancer over the course of 2 hours and will continue to change the sign every 2 hours, likewise covering all the 12 signs. For example, in 1 hour or 60 minutes time, 15 more degrees of the Gemini would have risen and so lagna will be at 15 plus 2 degrees that is 17 degrees of the Gemini as shown on the screen. And in another one hour, Lagna will progress another 15 degrees and will be at 2 degrees of Cancer, which is the next sign that would have risen after Gemini as shown on the screen. Let's now see relationship of Lagna with the position of the Sun in the zodiac sign. I said earlier that Sun passes through the 12 zodiac signs over the course of a year and takes one solar month or 30 days to traverse one sign. Since each sign or Rashi is 30 degrees, Sun takes one day to cover one degree of the zodiac sign. Assume that Sun has just entered the Aries sign, so Aries solar month has just started. So on the first day of the Aries solar month, the first degree of the Aries sign will be rising at the eastern horizon. Anyone born at this day at sunrise will have Aries ascendant and the degree of the ascendant will be 1 degree. Bear in mind though that the sunrise times at different locations will be different. So if a person is born at the sunrise time then his lagna or ascendant is the same sign in which sun is currently placed and the degrees of the ascendant is the same as that of the degrees of the, that, that of the, degrees the sun has traverse in that sign. As the earth rotates, Lagna will pass through all the 30 degrees of Aries onto the first degree of the next sign Taurus over the course of 2 hours and will continue to change the sign every 2 hours until it covers all 12 signs till the next day's sunrise as we saw on the previous screens. On the next day at sunrise, 2 degrees of the Aries will be at the eastern horizon as the Sun would have now moved into the second degree of the Aries in one day. So the person born at the next day's sunrise will have Aries ascendant and the degree of the ascendant will be 2 degrees. 
Likewise, the last degree of the zodiac, or in other words, 30 degree of Pisces, will be on the eastern horizon at the sunrise on the 30th day of Pisces, or the last solar month. Or in other words, on the last day of the solar year, so the person born at the sunrise of this last day of the solar year will have Pisces ascendant and the degrees of the ascendant will be 30 degrees. So we have learned two things. One, lagna of a person depends not only on the time of the birth but also on the place of the birth as every place on earth will be facing different sign at different times on eastern horizon. And two, if the person is born at the sunrise time, then his lagna is the same sign in which sun is currently placed and the degrees of the ascendant is equal to the degrees traversed by sun in that sign. I have shown you conceptually how lagna or ascendant is established. I hope you now have better understanding of how ascendant or lagna is decided for a person born on any given day at a particular time and a particular place on earth and this video was useful thank you for watching